Hello everybody! Welcome back to Equestrian Emmy. And in this week's video, I'm going to be putting this stuff in my new bag from Escadron that I'm going to be taking around the show ring this year. I really hope you guys enjoy this week's video. start with I'm going to take off the tag on the bag. Next I think I'm going to organize my sponges into little bags. I'm gonna do this so once we use the sponges for whatever we're gonna use them for it doesn't make my new bag get very dirty. We're getting all the air out. I'm just going to place them over here and I'll organise the bag in a bit. Now I'm going to put all these gloves in a bag. and getting all the air out. Now that I've done that, I've got this giant bottle of fly spray from Dr. Show, but I don't think I want to be carrying that around everywhere. So I'm going to place it in this pink little spray bottle. The lid doesn't want to screw on. I'm going to do the same thing, placing this over here with the other stuff. Earlier this morning, I placed some rubber bands and some thread with the ponies colors so that if they get a plait out when we're about to go in the show ring, mum can quickly fix it up. I also am going to put in a tail bandage, a shoe shine sponge so that my boots are always looking nice and shiny, a very old mane and tail brush that as you can see has broken off and yes I'm cleaning all the hair out from the ponies. I am also going to be putting in this mitten from Hawes because it like, makes their coat nice and shiny and flat, I think. As well as some biodegradable baby wipes that are fragrance free. So that you can like clean up makeup off their face or if they've got some green saliva. But they're also fragrance free so they're not harming them in any sort of way. Also got a little comb. This really nice soft brush. And funny or not, this is from my mum when she was growing up, so they last a long time. As well as some bailing twine, which I need to fold up a bit so that it fits in that a bit nicer. This is in case we need to tie the pony up, since I've got two that have been I'm competing to at most competitions. If, for example, I'm in the ring with one and no one can hold the other, maybe we could tie them up with some bailing twine. And I've also got some more Ziploc bags, which if we use them, or I'll probably just put them in one of the pockets in case we need to put something in them. And some trucks cloths. We normally have like the roll that you can roll the cloths off, but I thought this might just fit in here a bit nicer. So, time to start organizing my bag. I think I might put the fly spray on the outside so it's easy to access. Also, in case it leaks, hopefully it doesn't ruin anything in the inside. So, hmm, it's got a lot of pockets. I have this zip pocket here, which I thought maybe we could put like, I don't know, little bits and bobs that don't have anywhere to go. So, I think 
I will put the fly spray if it fits um, here. Oh, it does fit. That might look nice. Neat. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Okay, so fly spray is here. Now, this has a little pocket at the top and a big pocket. So, I think I might put the baby wipes on the inside because I don't think there's a big enough pocket for them. Also, just before I put anything in the inside, I'll show you guys what it looks like. There's this pouch thing, which I think you put like pencils or something in. You can put like your name here. And then there's another nice pouch on the inside here. And then like most bags, there's just this inner sole thing that lies to keep the bags in shape. So, baby wipes on the inside. As well as, I think this mitten, because I don't think it will fit anywhere on the outside. And the brush. I think this is going to be like really like grab and use very often. So, see where it fits? That's got Velcro. Does it fit here? No. Over here maybe? No, so the brush doesn't fit on any of the outside pockets. So I'll have to put this one in the inside. I'll just clean it off a bit because I don't want my bag getting dirty already. This bandage. I think I'll put it. Where should we put it? Here. And also these um elastics, I think is to keep it like for example, if something was like sticking out, I think it's meant so it doesn't like come out because it doesn't have velcro in all of them, only some. So this can go here if it fits. Oh, actually, it might be a bit of a tight squeeze. Let's think about somewhere else it can go. Um, that says it's for a water bottle, but I could not fit a water bottle in that. Maybe. There's a thing over here that has velcro in it. No. Maybe this one. Hmm. I think this one at the start was our best bet actually. We'll just shove it in there and hope we can get it out. Okay. That's in there, it doesn't have to look pretty. And gloves, so, hmm. Actually, I was thinking to put this in here, here with the Velcro, so that it doesn't escape, because I don't think you would want that to escape. And I might put this bailing twine in this little pocket. My shine sponge, hmm, maybe under here, in this pocket, yeah. Now, mane and tail brush, hmm, still got quite a few pockets. You can put this maybe here. My gloves and my sponges. Now, I thought I could put my gloves with my ties and thread. Forgot what it was called for a second. Because it has a um, belt coat, it will stay in nicely. And sponges is a good question where it will go. Maybe if I put the bandage in the inside since it's not fitting anywhere nicely and it has unruffled. 
since it's not fitting anywhere nicely, I'll put it in the middle and then I'll put the sponges in the compartment where I just got the bed. There we go, that's nice. And the cone I'll put with the tail brush, the chuck spots in the inside. And the scissors, I think the scissors can go in here, if they fit that is. Yeah. Scissors in there and then these other plastic bags can go. Hmm. Maybe in where the scissors are because this can be like like I said earlier on bits and bobs sort of. Okay. So I think as we start using my new bag more, it'll probably have a lot more stuff in it like when we go to the show ring like a class schedule of the classes we're doing and a timetable but for now i think this is a good idea thank you guys so much for watching this week's video on organizing my new bag please like and subscribe as it really does help me out i hope to see you in the next one